What is up, YouTube? Are you ready for this story? Because I am not. All right, so let's do this. Um, I'm going to talk about probably the worst date I've ever had. Uh, not because there was anything wrong with her or it, not exactly anything wrong with me, but it's, it, it all has to revolve around like uh, the weird circumstances that happened along with the date. So I'll give you a little background of this girl. I'm just going to call this girl Lucy. Um, so Lucy, uh, w well, first of all, I'm uh, 23 years old right now. I went to high school, then I went to college. Uh, and I graduated college uh, about a year ago. Um, and this girl, she used to go to my high school, but she went uh, freshman and sophomore year. Uh, and I was at that school from sophomore to senior year of high school. So I only had her in like one of my classes sophomore year. I didn't know her. I never talked to her in class of my knowledge. Uh, but I do like vaguely remember she was there. Uh, but uh, how we came across paths uh, later on was, uh, I, I believe it was um, my uh, the end of my sophomore year of college, I matched with her on Tinder, and she and I were talking, and then we met uh, that summer before my junior year of college, uh, and we met um, at my hometown, uh, and we went out for ice cream, we, we walked around and like talked and whatever, uh, but but that was it. We only met that one time, uh, that one date. Uh, it wasn't bad. It was pretty good. Uh, it was chill. Uh, but then I was going back to college like uh, soon after, like just like a couple weeks after. And I was like, I, I like kind of forgot about it after that. Uh, but then um, uh, like second semester of my junior year of college, I got a two, about a two year relationship, which ended uh like back in fe February, so uh, I hit this. I started hitting this girl up, uh, Lucy, uh, and started talking to her again. And so she and I met up for a second date. Um, and so we were gonna meet up to go to mini golf, and I think this was like around April, something like that. Uh, but something I didn't do was I didn't. Or uh, I'll, I'll get to it. So like we, she didn't, she doesn't live in my town anymore. She lives about like 45 minutes away, but like we met at like a decent meetup point, which is like 20 minutes uh, uh, for each of us to travel. Uh, and we were going to, yeah, mini golf there. But one important thing I forgot to do was I forgot to check if mini golfing is in season. So we made it there, like the parking lot's empty. Uh, but like I made it there like a few minutes before she did. And I was like, uh, oh, should I tell her that we should meet like at the mall that's nearby or, or what? Uh, but then I was like, you know, what? I'll, I'll just wait for her and then I'll tell her that like the place was closed. <clears throat> so she came, uh, and, and it was like weird cause and, and sketchy cause like I was alone in my car, uh, in an empty parking lot. Well, it's my dad's car. Uh, and, uh, she came rolling up in her, um, uh, she she just bought a Mercedes like a couple weeks before then, and I'm like, damn, I'm I'm driving my dad's car. That's like '90s crappy car, and I don't even have my own car. And she's got a Mercedes that she bought herself. But anyways, uh, so she pulled up. I, uh, I walked out of my car, went up to her, and I was like, uh, so the mini golfing place is closed. I didn't realize it wasn't in season. What do you want to do? And we, we decided like, we, let's uh, like walk out like some park nearby. Uh, so then we went to that park. Uh, it's like about five minutes away. Uh, but um, I thought it was going to be a different area of the park, but stupid Google Maps like took us to like a random other side of the park. Uh, that's like mainly a river area. So we just like kind of walked by the river uh, but like first though, when we arrived there, when we each got out of our cars, like, uh, there was a car moving like by itself with nobody in it. And we were like really weirded out. We, were, we like wanted to walk away to like, just like continue on our like date and like talking and walking. But we were just like freaked out. Like what the hell, how the, how the hell is that happening? But then we didn't realize that like there's technology like that, how there's cars now that you can like control it by like uh, 
by the keys or whatever uh, from afar. So that's what some guy was doing. He was just like trolling us from afar. And then he went up to us. Oh, yeah, that's my car. Like I'm controlling it from my keys. And we were like, oh, wow, that's cool. Uh, but so anyways, we, uh, we, we started walking. We were talking. Everything was good. Um, and so we were like talking for about an hour or so. And then we got back to our cars and we were like, we were going to go out to eat like somewhere near there. Uh, we were going to meet at like, uh, yeah, yeah. So, um, but then we got into our cars, we started up our cars, but my car did not start up. Well, I had no idea what was going on. I didn't know like if it died or something like that. It's a real old car and the engine light is on. Uh, I had no idea what was going on. So uh, I had her come over like and try to help me out. Uh, but nothing was working. We tried to get these guys to like jump start the car and they were about to jump start the car. We had the wires attached to her car uh, and we were about to uh, and my car. Uh, but then one of the guys is like, oh, I think it's something wrong with, uh, he said something wrong with something, uh, from my car, but I, I, I really did think that it just like lost electricity, like, uh, like the battery died, uh, and that it just needed to be jump started Cause it was like slowly starting to like, when like, uh, trying to turn on the engine, it was like slowly, uh, starting to like work over time, like a little bit more, but so that's what kind of like made it seem like it had something to do with the battery. But so the guys just didn't end up like bothering trying to uh, jumpstart the car then. Uh, so then they were like, oh, yeah, you need to get that checked out. Like blah, 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 blah. So my mom is crazy. Uh, let me say that in a better way. She's very over overprotective. Uh, and, uh, annoying, uh, so, and especially, obviously, if it, it's not my stuff, it's my dad's car, uh, um, so, I call her, ask her what to do, uh, and she was like, oh, like, let me go over there, oh my god, what is going on, blah, 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 and I, like, calm down, uh, so, yeah, she, she, uh, she ended up coming over, uh, which is awkward because there's this girl that I've uh, I'm on a second date with and I uh, she meets my mom like that because I'm silly and the car my dad's car broke down uh, in a parking lot on a date so my mom came through uh, my mom and her like said hi to each other or whatever. I thought, I thought really though, at this point, like the date was just ruined that she's never going to want to meet up with me again. I, I'm not, like, I thought this was just like all too cringe and awkward and made me look like a little baby or something. So, uh, she, uh, so yeah, my mom came through, said hi. And like, uh, and then she started up the car and it did actually start up. So it turned out the battery did die. That's what the whole problem was. And it just needed like about an hour to like get back on track. So that was awkward. My, and also completely unnecessary for my mom to come and made me look like an idiot. Uh, but so then we decided, uh, but like we, we were still weren't sure exactly what was wrong with the car. Uh, but then we like concluded that it was probably that I left the GPS like plugged in in the car when it was off the car and I never done that before. Uh, I just happened to do that accidentally that time. So probably drained out all the uh, electricity. So, uh, but anyways, we, f we weren't fully, fully sure that was it. So we j just wanted just in case my mom to drive the car, uh, back to my, uh, house because my mom knows, uh, better um, uh, how to drive. Cause at that point, like, yeah, I, I've only got my license like about a year ago, something like that. Uh, so she, or at that point, like it was April, 2018 that I got it. Uh, but so we went to, um, we decided to go to a restaurant, like right near my house, like a street away, uh, that she and I have been to before, like not together, but like separately. Uh, and so, yeah, like, uh, I drove my mom's car, uh, my mom drove my dad's car and, uh, she drove her car obviously. Uh, and we met at my house and then, uh, um, she and I went off to that restaurant and it was pretty chill, good conversation, whatever. 
Uh, and like uh, ever since after that, that day, we were talking. We made a um, we made a plan to meet up, uh, and then she had to cancel because uh, she was like she has like relatives and friends in New York. Uh, and I'm from, uh, I'm from like the Boston area. Uh, so she like went there for one week, like for a few days or whatever. Uh, and she was going to come back on that last day to Massachusetts. So then she and I can hang out. Uh, and so then what happened on the way, uh, was in Connecticut, she accidentally, uh, crashed into a deer. So her Mercedes was totaled. She had to like stay there for an extra day or two uh, in Connecticut uh, cause, uh, for her car to get fixed or whatever uh, or and, and something like that. And then uh, so that's why we had to reschedule again. Uh, so then we rescheduled and she was like, oh, like. I forget what the ne the next thing was, uh, but like it, it seems like an excuse that she hit a deer or whatever. But she literally posted on her sta snap story, uh, like the the Mercedes like totaled, uh, not fully totaled, but like it was pretty roughed up. Uh, so then we, uh, yeah, we rescheduled. I, I forget what the next excuse was, uh, but it was like it seemed illegitimate. The next one. Uh, but that that uh, that one of getting hit by a deer seemed definitely legitimate. So, long story short, I think it was quite the strange date, uh, and also uh, I think it all had to, uh, like why she didn't really want to meet up again. It had to all revolve around like me being a little mama's boy and just like a little immature and like, not immature but well kind of but uh just like all this like weird circumstances happening uh that just made it all awkward and weird you know uh, i think she just didn't want to make me feel awkward and bad considering how weird everything was going you know uh but it's all good though uh that was the story and I hope you enjoyed it. So, listen to the rest of my dank stories. This one isn't as intense as the other stories. It was just a silly story that I wanted to share. So, check out my other stories. You'll see how intense it may get. Thank you. Subscribe. Bye.